Welcome! Today I'm going to show you how to use my free SVG print then cut files for these adorable valentines. You can find them by clicking on the link in the description or going to ficklehobbyist.com. Download and extract your files and let's get started. With a new project open in Design Space, we're going to upload a new image. Now you can click this button here and locate it um, in your files, or you can do like I do here and have it open in your taskbar and drop and drag it. It works either way. I just like to do it this way and you may like to do it the other way, whatever. So once you drop it in, you're gonna see it takes a second here. Um, just look over your image, make sure that's the one you want to import and if you want to, at this point, add some tags for easier location in the future, this is the time to do that. Otherwise, you're just going to click Upload. And so you'll see the most recent file uploads on the left. You're going to click on it and add it to your canvas. Now, when it promulgates in your canvas, you're going to see um, everything is grouped together and I want you before you do anything to go up to the size and ensure that the width is set to 4.0 that's what I created it at but it doesn't always import that way you'll see it's just a shy a hair shy of that size and you want it to be four inches wide so that the holes for the crayons fit so after resizing you want to select all the layers you can see that they're all highlighted here and you're going to ungroup them. And when that happens, you'll see they all become their own individual layer. So the first thing you do is you click on the drawing and while holding down the shift key, you also click on the bottom layer, which is the card base. And then we're going to click flatten, which then turns that into a print then cut file. And when it does this, it actually bumps itself up to the very top. So just drag it down to the bottom so that you can see all the rest of the cuts in the project. So you'll see now you can see all of it um, laid out there on the left. We're going to select these two straight lines by holding down the shift key and clicking on both of them. I'm going over to Operations and in the drop down menu, selecting Score. So this is going to give us the little fold lines which create tabs for the crayons to be inserted into. So you'll see all the different layers now. You have two score layers, two basic cuts, and a print then cut. So click Control A to select all of your layers, and now we're going to attach it. If you would like to just print then cut one, you can click make it and follow the prompts from there and you're good to go. If however, you have a bunch of these to do for a class, I'm going to show you how to put two into uh, the mat so that you can make the most of your materials. And in order to do that, we have to start off by creating um, a space that is the same size as Cricut's print then cut. So you're going to start by opening up the shapes palette and selecting the square and underneath the dimensions you'll see that there's a lock i want you to unlock that and you need to change the width to 6.25 and the length to 9.25 that's the largest size that cricut can print and cut so we're going to turn this 90 degrees you can rotate it with the arrow or i always just like to go up and put in 90 and we're going to put that within the confines of the rectangle. And you'll see that it is underneath the rectangle. So over here, I'm gonna drag that to the bottom layer so that we can see where we put the card. Now you can duplicate like I'm going to here, or you can already have another card ready with the steps we previously did and put those both within the confines of the rectangle without overlapping. So now with the shift button held down, you're going to click on each card so that they're both selected and you're going to click attach.
And now we don't need the rectangle anymore, so you can click on the gray rectangle itself and you can delete it. And here, you have two that are ready to be print and cut within the confines of the print and cut space that Cricut allows. So click make it and you're ready to go. On the next page, you're going to see the option to print it. After you click continue, and that's going to create a pop-up window that allows you to select your printer. So I actually choose to print off-site and in that drop-down menu, choose the PDF option and I take it to Office Max or Office Depot just because I like the quality of their printers better than what I have at home. And then I come back to this project and pick up here and cut it from there by selecting I've already printed. But if you're printing at home, you'll select your printer right here from the drop down menu and click print. With this project, you will also need to have a scoring stylus. Um, they have different ones for different machines, so check the link in the description. I link you to the Amazon page where you can find those and you can locate the one for your machine. You also obviously need the fine point blade and um, for the material, I like to use a light to heavy cardstock. It's up to you, but it needs to be thick enough that it can withstand the weight of the crayons. And if you've ever cut anything on Cricut before, the rest is the same that you would do for cutting vinyl or anything. Stick it in your machine, feed it, and then click the Cricut button and you're good to go. Remove the project from the mat by turning it upside down, putting the paper on a table and pulling the mat away from the card as opposed to lifting the card off to prevent curling. In the download, you will find three different theme sets with four Valentines each. Here you'll see the dinosaurs. We also have a little foodies one and little gnomes. Each of them have a place for two crayons, which you can see fit nice and snug inside of that. You can just give it a little twist to make sure that it slides in, but um, the diameter of the circle is exactly that of the crayon, so hopefully you won't have any crayon loss when your child takes this to school. If you visit the post that's linked in the description, you'll see that I have linked to a couple of different options for single color crayon packs. Um, you can absolutely buy it like a 24 pack or a 96 pack or whatever, but I think with a lot of these, it would be nice to just give a red and a pink or something like that. So you can find a 12 pack of red, a 12 pack of pink. Um, that way every kid has something good to color with and not like a black and a gray. <laughs> I, anyways, I hope that you like these. If you use these for your children's Valentine's, I would love to hear how they like them as well. Thanks for stopping by.